Hello everybody and welcome to another quick car review here with the Bizzle Cars. In this series we show you the latest cars in the Middle East, we tell you a thing or two about them, but more importantly, we tell you what you need to know. I'm Chris and this is the 2021 Range Rover Evoque. For 2021, nothing is new around the car, literally if you look around it's the same as it was a couple of years ago when the second generation debuted, but there are some new accents on the car, especially here and here, and they're actually rose gold, and I quite like the tint here because it adds to what the car is, because this car is a statement. This is the kind of car, if you want all eyes fixated on you when you're driving down Jumeirah Beach Road, this is the car for you. We have 20 inch alloys on each corner. As we go to the rear end, you can see the lines just flow, and it's really eye-catching to look at this car and when we come around the back, we of course have the aggressive rear diffuser styling and a fully electric rear lift gate. While we're back here, let's show you the lift gate. Now there are three ways to operate it inside via the button here, or if you want to do it hands-free, you just want to do it via the key, you can do so too. So I just tap the button on there and up it goes. Hands-free lift gate. You can see there is some space here and you would have thought because of the car shape, it would be smaller, but it's not that bad and of course, with the 60 folding seats here, you can of course get extra stuff if you've got larger loads. And there's plenty of things underneath and more storage. There's the spare tire and everything. There's even a shade too. Before I show you inside the car, as you can see, the door handles have gone missing. It's not because they've fallen off or anything. They've actually retracted into the bodywork, which is a really cool feature. And if I unlock the car, out they pop. Inside the 2021 Evoque is where you see the new stuff. But before we get to that, the seats, they are very soft and supple. They are powered with memory on this side at least. I'm not sure about that side. I don't think I can see it now. It's just powered on that side here. They are porphyrated, although we haven't found any ventilation in it, but I'm sure with the options that you can add to the car, you can get ventilated seats. Now let's get to what's new inside the 2020 Red Evoque. The steering wheel has been lifted from the Defender and been put in this car. As you can see, we have not traditional buttons and they're not rubberized either. They're actually fingerprint magnets with LED backlights and they can actually change depending on what the menu you're using. As you can see, I've now got functional displays in the arrows, and if I press it again, it changes back to all my media connections. And then same thing on this side with the cruise control. But the real treat in this car is this, the dual screen setup. And you've probably noticed that all the buttons have gone missing, and that's because all the buttons have been transferred into the two screens. This one actually tilts backwards and forwards when you turn the car on and off. So the two screens here, the one at the top serves its purpose as being the navigation system, connectivity and with media you can also check out the rear view camera as well but further down is the one that we really want to play around with here as I said before the buttons have gone missing because they've all transitioned their way here and from here I can adjust the climate of the vehicle via these dials for both driver and passenger plus the speed of the airflow but more interestingly enough is where the vehicle controls are again they're missing that's because Land Rover have put them here so in the back we have space for three and like the front we have this beautiful leather and it's supple, it's soft and it really fits nicely with these seats. It makes it super comfortable back here. Space for three as we said, but in the middle if you've got only two people, comfy armrest with the cup holders. And for those who want a fabulous view, you can look up through the panoramic sunroof. If only the official dealer didn't put their sticker here, then the view would be magnificent. Under the bonnet, we have a two litre turbocharged four cylinder petrol engine. It generates 246 horsepower. It's sent to all four wheels via a nine speed automatic gearbox with manual shifting modes. This car will get you from zero to 100 in 7.6 seconds, which is quite respectable for a crossover SUV. In terms of pricing, the base model of this Evoque started around 183,400 dirhams or thereabouts. But if you want this exact model, this one will set you back 343,900 dirhams. And as always, we have to ask ourselves, is it worth the money? It's always a 50-50 split here, isn't it? If you want all the safety features and you want to look cool and you want to make a statement with a two liter powerful engine under the bonnet, then yes, this car is 100% worth it. And that wraps up another quick review here on Debizzle Cars. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Thank you.